everybody. This is Noah with the Bridger Teton Avalanche Center. Uh, we are out here south of Jackson Hole Mountain Resort um, at about 9,800 feet. Um, we're looking at the north face of No Name Peak behind us, um, which stands up to about 11,000 feet up there. And we're looking at a pretty large event that happened in the last uh, avalanche cycle. Um, you can see the crown extends all the way from far right, all the way across the cliff band and over to the left there. And uh, from here we're estimating that you know, the average crown depth is probably five to six feet with areas to up to 10 feet. Um, and just from what we can see right here, it looks like it stepped down to the January 4th interface and then in places even to the November snow. If you look on the far right side, you can see areas where the avalanche kind of gouged to the ground. Um, so a fairly large event that most likely occurred at the tail end of the most recent storm. Um, there's very little snow on the bed surface, so it would indicate that this event happened right at the end of the storm and really wasn't filled in at all. So a pretty cool event, large, you know, we have a lot of weak snow at the base of the snowpack and it took a really big weather event to trigger something like this. So your backcountry user isn't gonna go out there and trigger something like this in the near future, but a cool event to note nonetheless. Have fun out there.